Hey guys, Tomer here and welcome to a special video where I will be talking about politics and today I'll be talking about Brexit. Now, do keep in mind that I'm not British in any way, shape or form. I do belong to a nation in the European Union though, that nation being Greece. Yeah, I'm poor as shit, if you're wondering. Just, just so you know. Uh, just so you know, this fucking laptop is fucking ancient and I wanna repair it and shit. But I can't because, you know, I don't have any fucking money. My father's car just broke down, we only have my mother's car working. You know, just I'm poor as shit. <laughs> just keep that in mind. I'm definitely still middle class, and I'm glad that I'm middle class, but... You know, still, I'm poor. But yeah, just just to answer your questions about, you know, Greek poverty and shit. Um, I, I support Brexit. I actually do support Brexit, and I support it for a very simple reason, actually. I think it's very, it's a very, yeah, it's a very simple reason, honestly. The EU Commission, I don't vote for them. That's, it's anti-democratic. They, they found a way to circumvent, like, actually going through a democratic process. And that commission dictates shit to my fucking nation. And I don't like it. I want, if I wanted a European Union, I'd want one with, that respects national sovereignty. Greece is its own nation, and it should be its own nation. And frankly, I want my government to dictate things for myself and other Greek citizens. I don't want some commission in fucking Brussels. I don't want a bunch of fucking Belgian pieces of shit. A bunch of like Belgian and German pricks just sitting there on a fucking table dictating what the fuck I can do with my life. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want their fucking austerity measures. I don't want any of that shit. They can go fuck themselves. But I also don't elect them. That's what I hate. I want to elect them. I want to fucking elect them. And there are representatives from the different nations. But they can't propose legislation. They can only vote on it. That's, that's another thing I hate. They should be able to propose legislation. If I, for example, want less austerity measures, I should be able to contact my local EU representative to tell them, just, you know, propose this. Propose less austerity measures for Greece. If it is to be rejected, it is to be rejected. Great. But propose them, goddammit. Aside from that, though, another thing I really like about Brexit, specifically like Brexit, not only is it weakening this union that I want to die, you know, you know, and the common argument is that what's, it's never going to be replaced. This, this is an issue people have, right? Or that Europe is going to fall back to war. Do you honestly think Europe is going to go back on war? Because you, you have to be pretty, like, I don't want to insult people usually, but you have to be pretty stupid to think that. Or you have to be, like, really ignorant. Look at Germany. Look at how guilty they are over the Holocaust and World War II. Look how they remind themselves of it, like, every other fucking day. Do you honestly think these people could cause another war? Because last time I checked, both World Wars had Germany in a central role. And had Germany as, like, the biggest... Uh, just the biggest blocker of peace, I guess. Well, that's not true. The Second War in the Second World War it was mostly Britain that blocked the peace treaty. Uh, but yeah, just Germany was the warmonger, and German people feel a lot of guilt for or, because of this. We're talking about a country that, when when the decision was uh, voted in that you know to for the German for the modern German armed forces to be created again. Students and other young people fucking rioted in the streets. This was like back in the 60s or something. They rioted because they didn't want their country to have an army. They did not want their country to have an army. Do you honestly think that nation can go anywhere close to starting a war? Fuck no. Fuck no. There is, not, there is never going to be another European war. And NATO is going to ensure that... Fucking the US is gonna ensure that Russia is gonna ensure that they're all gonna ensure that Europe isn't gonna plunge into chaos. It's just too Europe is too valuable for it to plunge into chaos Aside from that though uh, You know, I don't want a federalized European super state and this is the route that the European Union is heading down Look at it. We've got an it has a flag It has an, uh, an anthem the ode to joy it has, uh, it's gonna have a treasury area that they're building, we ha that, you know, they're currently, like, thinking of the plans to do that. It has an army. Like, if the only way to get this fucking union to reform itself is if people leave it, and if it, if it doesn't reform itself, more countries will leave. And if they don't have an army, they can force these countries to stay. If they do have an army, they will be able to. And this is what I hate. If they gain an army, 
we, we will have some federalized European super state. We're going to have the United States of Europe. Like, I'm not even kidding right now. This is actually, like, going to be a thing, you know? I honestly think this because look at it, you know, look at what you can do with an army, you know? Seriously, though, like, well, I was being serious before, but, you know, just uh, let, let's get back to some other stuff. Another thing I like about specifically Brexit is that Northern Ireland is finally considering uniting with normal Ireland. I wanted to see an Irish unification since I was like a little kid, since I was fucking eight years old. Now here I am. Here I am fucking 15, almost 16 years old. Just almost 16 years old. Here I am just waiting and seeing, looking at that sweet, sweet Remain vote that they voted in. <laughs> just amazing. Scotland might become independent, although I don't really give a shit about Scotland. Um, although Scotland now would be a powerful nation, because from what I heard, the Faroe Islands or whatever they're called, like those islands above Scotland, where like most of the oil is concentrated at, that, you know, Scotland could utilize to like... Could, Scotland could effectively utilize um, to uh, to effectively... Uh, you know, become a rich nation. You know, the Faroe Islands, I think, will support Scotland on this. Because last time, if I remember correctly, when, like, Scottish independence was, like, when the referendum was, uh, when was it, like, 2014, 2015? When that referendum was done, uh, the Faroe Islands, I think, like, stated that they would leave, they would, they would uh, declare independence from Scotland so they could join, uh, so they could join the United Kingdom so they could be part of the United of the European Union. So now that Scotland is in favor of remaining in the European Union, and they declare their independence and they'll get into the European Union, I think the Faroe Islands will stand with them, because the United Kingdom is simply not part of the European Union anymore. Another thing I, as I said, as I said, you know, I like like Northern Ireland. Also, another thing that I like. This is kind of off topic, but I have this question for like Northern Irish people. I see constantly Northern Irish people going like, it's not in our best economic interest to join Ireland. It, like, the, the whole thing, like whether to rejoin, to join Ireland or to stay in the United Kingdom, the whole thing like came down to fucking economics. And I don't understand this, right? I don't understand this. Does no one give a shit about the undemocratic nature of the European Union there? Does no one give a shit about anything else other than their own fucking pockets? Like, here's the thing with me, right? I'm in Greece. I'd support a Grexit any time of the fucking week. I'd support going back to the drachma. We'd be poor as shit for the first few years. But after that, the thing with poor as shit nations is, you know, our currency, the drachma, would be shit. It would be absolute shit. It would have no fucking value. It would be worthless. And that would produce some very harsh years for us early on. But after the first few years, what would happen would be tourists would just enter our country because it would be cheap to, keep, to come here. Because, you know, it's, it's a nice country. You know, we get a lot of tourism. But tourism is our main fucking industry. If people saw that, we were, that the stuff here was, like, cheap as shit, that I could, like, spend 50 cents and, like, they could, like, spend 50 cents a day on a fucking hotel. Okay, that's a bit extreme. But you know what I mean. You, you get what I'm saying, like... You know, spending 10 euro, 10, 10 fucking, that they could go here with 10 euros and spend like an equivalent of like 10 euros a day in a hotel. People would do it. People would come here in increased numbers. And we'd get lots of tourism and we'd get lots of revenue. And that would help our economy, which in turn would help our currency improve, which would help us live normal, livable lives after like the first two or three or four years, you know? So I'm willing to go through that hardship to get to a point where, you know, I just, my country might be better off than it is right now with the fucking austerity measures and shit. I'm willing to endure that hardship, but it seems Northern Irish aren't willing to endure that hardship. They want to remain because of the economy, the economy, the economy, the economy. That's all I'm hearing from Northern Irish and people who like talk about like Northern Ireland and the, its desire to stay. Like, I don't understand this. Are, are, are the people in Northern Ireland just a bunch of bourgeois pricks or something? I don't get this. Like, I'm not even trying to offend here, right? If you're, like, Northern Irish and you could explain this shit to me, please, like, be my guest. Go to the comments and just explain to me why you think remaining is such a good idea and you'd think that due to non-economic reasons, because all I've seen is economic reasons. 
Another thing they said was that Gibraltar will probably leave uh, the United Kingdom because they voted Remain. I don't want that to happen because, frankly, I like the fact that you know uh, I like I like you know the UK keeping their overseas uh, territories. Well, not really overseas. Gibraltar is right there, but G Gibraltar, Gibraltar, Gibraltar. I don't know how to pronounce that. You know, you know, it's right there, right on the south. But I want them to keep whatever like colonial remnants they have. Like this is gonna sound fucking horrible. I know. Like people want to like forget about the British Empire, but I think it shows. You know, I think it reminds. British people that they're a shell of their former selves and you know They are they are in a lot of ways, but uh, you know if I was like a former colonial empire I'd keep as much as I could I'd honestly like keep as much as I could and I would advise the UK to do the same I don't think I don't want Gibraltar to go back to Spain. I don't think Spain should ever get that rock, you know I Mean it's just a rock. Why do people care about it? I don't care like seriously and it's not like Spain doesn't have its own, like, territories in other continents, in other uh, places. Well, not continents, you know, Gibraltar is still in Europe, and the UK is still in Europe. But yeah, you know, they, they have, like, Melilla, or whatever the fuck it's called. Me Me Melilla? Is that, is that what it's called? And what was it, like, Ceuta? Something like that. These are, like, territories, like, in Northern Africa. In, in, uh, they're territories in North Africa, like, uh, right above, like, Morocco, that are controlled by uh, Spain. And the Spanish have no problem with uh, holding those. So since you have no problem giving those back to Morocco, where they belong, why should Britain give you back G Gibraltar? I don't get this, you know? I don't get this. Beggars can't be choosers. But seriously, but uh, I don't know, I say seriously a lot when I'm actually speaking like seriously, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't have any other points, just... To recap, like the European Union is very un undemocratic. I, I don't vote for the Commission and I hate that. Uh, I don't get why the Northern Irish are so concerned with their economy. Um, Gibraltar is never going to be part of Spain and shouldn't because Spain is, would be a hypocrite if they got Gibraltar back but refused to give Morocco back what is rightfully its, what ri rightfully belongs to it. Um, so, yeah, what other points did I make? Oh, and that if the European Union gets an army, we're going to have some Orwellian European... Uh, European super state and I would hate that and that Europe isn't gonna fall back and isn't gonna just fall back into like anarchy rioting and war if you know the European Union was completely dismantled it just wouldn't and I think that the European Union should reform itself if, we, if it wants to stay alive anyways guys thank you so much for watching have a fantastic evening and I'll see you in the next video which I promise isn't politics